the time the Badgers take the field on January 2nd, it will have been almost a month since they last played the game. It was on December 3rd to be exact, the loss to Penn State in the Big Ten Championship. And that's not the way Wisconsin wants to end their season. News 3's Jay Wilson has more from Dallas. Practice must be going very well for the Badger football team here at the Cotton Bowl because Paul Christ has already canceled the Friday practice. They're set to go. They know what everybody's saying about this bowl game. It's not a playoff semifinal. It's against the Western Michigan team from the MAC conference. But for these Badgers, it's a chance at redemption. The best way to kind of overcome and get that sour taste out of your mouth is getting back out and playing. You know, we've been practicing hard in Madison. We've been practicing hard here in Dallas. We're extremely excited for this opportunity. We have a lot to prove, and I think uh, we, we definitely have a bad taste in our mouth from this past this past uh, game we had against Penn State, and we're we're on a mission. We're, we're meant on a mission to show people what we're capable of and to show that that was a fluke. You know, win, lose, or draw, after each game, you take stock in it, and you, uh, you learn what you know, learn from your mistakes, uh, and it's it's always more enjoyable to do that when you when you win. But you got to be able to do it when you when you don't play as well and you lose. And so uh, that's what we did. And I think the guys have came back with great energy and, and a chip on their shoulder. Another highlight from today: the unveiling of the statues of Buster Bronco and Bucky Badger, made completely out of tires. 500 Goodyear tires. It took Blake McFarland, who's a minor league baseball player, 300 hours to get her done. And that's why they call it the Goodyear Cotton Bowl. With the Badgers in Dallas, Jay Wilson, News 3 Sports. Well, having the opportunity to play in a bowl game isn't just all about football. One of the more rewarding experiences for the teams is being able to give back, and the Badgers no exception to that. The team visiting patients at the Texas Scottish Rite Hospital in Dallas this afternoon. And the visit started off, well, in true Badger fashion. You ready? Bringing a little bit of Camp Randall to Dallas and after that players like Vince Spiegel signing flags and footballs for kids and fans. Head coach Paul Chris saying that this is something the Badgers have eagerly been awaiting as a part of the trip.